Nathan Cox here. Guys, thanks for joining me here in the bathroom. Um, <laughs> let's not let your uh, minds go into the gutter, right? Or right down the stool. Uh, we're going to do some toilet repair here today. We're going to be installing, alright, this Fluid Master. Maybe there you can see it there. Alright, this is a, a fill tube, uh, they call it, the flush valve repair kit, okay? So what this is, is that this is the overflow tube, the part that holds the flapper, and the part that goes underneath the tank that connects to the bowl. Okay. Alright, so we should get back to this. We're going to have a bag of parts, okay, which is going to come with some bolts, and a whole bunch of washers and nuts and stuff, some metal, some uh, rubber. This is a big nut. This goes, you know, underneath. Alright, there's your new seal. And again, I apologize about the lighting and the colors. Uh, instruction booklet. Wait, is there something in there? No. Right, nope. Okay. Yes, I just threw away the instruction booklet. I need the instruction booklet, and you guys don't either because you got me. Okay. Alright, guys, so you can see inside the toilet there, I've got the old, rusty, stinky ball cock. Um, obviously, that's a good thing. We're just going to go ahead and replace that too. Here's that tube. Do you see what I'm talking about? I mean, what the heck was that kid doing? Okay, I'm just like, uh, okay. All right, right down there, you can see, kind of pointing to it with the screwdriver, if you will. You see there's that nut right down there, the top of the bolt, and there's another one. They're rusted really bad. Even though they're, they're basically brass, I don't know if they're just brass coated or what, uh, but they will corrode and rust like crazy. All right, now I do have a towel down here to help catch the water. And actually, let's uh, step back here one quick second. I've already got the water shut off, okay? So the water is shut off. Let's just take this uh, ball clock the rest of the way out. And that way we can drain some water. I think that'll be an easier thing to do. If you're coming to the point where you're having to replace this, it's a good idea to do the fill valve at the same time anyways. So we're going to hopefully do this the right way. I'm upside down, but I think I got it. As you're taking that uh, nut off, finally got it, try to press down on the, uh, the ball cock or whatever fill the valve you have. So hopefully the seal stays sealed. It's not doing so good. It's not really working for me. Okay, let's just see what happens if I just start to turn this. I can't find the slot. Oh, I got lucky. All right. Sometimes these are rusted down here real bad. You might need some W50-40 or something like that to get them loose. There is always the time where you might actually have to cut them. And they make these little hacksaws where the blade actually goes out past the hacksaw. So it kind of looks like a hand sawzall, if you will. And those work pretty good for getting in here and cutting these out. Um, we just always hope and pray that they just come loose. This is a big pain in the butt if you have to cut it. Alright, now I went ahead and already got the second bolt off. That was pretty straightforward. So now it's time just to basically lift it up and we're gonna let that extra water drain out. Alright, so here we go. I got a toilet on my lap. It's not something you think you'd say every day, right? I got the rubber seal right down here, okay? Which you will see in my second camera. That old black rubber. Okay. Don't worry too much, guys. This is where the clean water goes, okay? So, yes, I know I have it on my lap, but unless you uh, stand on top of the toilet and pee into the tank, this should just be clean water. Um, if you guys use those blue toilet flush cleaner things, may God have mercy on your souls, okay? That's the nastiest stuff ever. Plumbers hate it. I know a lot of plumbers will actually walk away from a job because it's just not worth it, okay? So if you do have that in there, I would suggest <coughs> scooping it out somehow, throwing it away, and just flushing tons of water through here before you even start. Nasty stuff. Okay, so I'm trying to work my best with both cameras. 
so you guys can see what's going on at all times. Okay. So I have water running down my leg. That's awesome. You can see these are pretty big slip joint pliers and they're barely getting onto this. Um, even though it's like overkill for as much torque you can put on it. But if you have a larger pipe wrench that's gonna fit this, you, you know, maybe you know, just to take it easy, but you just need a something that's gonna big enough to take that nut off. The fill tube again, we're gonna put it in here and we're gonna check it for length before we go any further. Okay, because I think this is too tall. And it is, okay? Now, a lot of toilets will have a little marking here somewhere on the back side that says, you know, max fill, okay? This one here actually doesn't seem to be stamped with it. Sometimes it's actually on the old fill tube, itself, or the overflow tube itself, and there's a little marking or sticker that says max fill, all right? We're trying to keep this real simple, real straight. This is really important, okay? And they made this tube a certain length so that it could handle different size tanks, okay? Kind of a universal fit. But if it's too long, you run into trouble. The purpose of this is if this doesn't shut off and it keeps filling up, the water's going to go up and over, okay? Now you're like, well, it doesn't hang out of the tank. Okay. Right here, where the flush lever is, okay, there's a hole there. It's not sealed, okay? If that water reaches that, before it reaches this, water's going to come right out and flood your floor, okay? So this needs to be lower than the lowest access point for water to flow out, which is should be the flush lift. Okay, so it's gotta be below that. That's kind of just the most important thing. Okay, and I need to take like like that much off. So let's get something to cut that. Um, I got my PVC cutters here. Ratchet and PVC cutters, these will be good. If you don't have one of these, which is understandable, just use a hacksaw. There we go. Those cut it so nicely. Okay. We're going to stick it back in there and double check before we start putting it together. Okay. You can see a water line here where things typically always fill too. I'm just a hair above that and definitely below the flush lever or any other point where the water can escape. So we're good. Okay. You want to position it so you see this hole here to the top left. That's where the, uh, the fill valve is going to go. Okay. And then we have our two bolts that go through there. All right. Some toilets have a third one. Sometimes we'll have a third one right here. But you want to put your, your your overflow tube kind of position like that, kind of diagonally. Okay? And that's just the way they go. Now we're going to hold this in place. And make sure that's sitting flush and centered. We'll get that nut back in place. We've actually completed the hardest part of this, taking this thing apart, getting cleaned out. This part's going to actually move pretty smoothly, okay? Now we're going to get our slip joint pliers or your pipe wrench, whatever you can fit on here. Now you don't got to crank it. These are all plastic parts, okay? So going crazy is not what you should be doing right now. Do not roll it out. You do want to make it tight, but obviously if you go too tight, you're going to snap it. So if you're using a pipe wrench, really go lightly, hold it up towards the top because you don't want to torque it and snap it because you absolutely will. Okay, I had to take a step back there because I realized there was some uh, debris, some uh, sediment, stuff like that that was underneath there. I didn't want that underneath the seal, okay? So I slipped that back off and cleaned it up a little bit better, okay? Cleaned it up on the inside here where the seal goes for there, and then where the two rubber washers are going to go, where then where the nuts go through. Okay? It's important that that's clean. Alright, so let's set this down. This is a nice thick bolt, which is nice. Alright, so get the rubber washer on there like that, okay? You guys can see this in the GoPro, I hope. So, there's one. And then we're going to go ahead and prep number two, which is just slipping that rubber washer on like that okay now we're going to slip these through okay now we got them 
hanging out, what we're going to do is we're going to put a one rubber washer here. Boom. Okay, and a rubber washer here. Okay, and then the metal washers. What this is doing is it's creating a double seal. So in case the first one decides to, um, you know, leak, hopefully the second washer catches it. Okay, it's just like a, just a, a double seal. All right, slip your nuts on. All right, is my deep socket even long enough? Yeah. Okay. Let's tighten this up. Finger on the inside. Make sure it's not slipping. Sometimes you don't, you don't need that screwdriver on the inside to hold it. Okay. Now here's the thing on that. I'm going to tighten them up just a hair more, but you don't want to make these crazy tight. Okay. The simple reason being is it just crushes that washer. Alright, the washer here, if this starts flaring out real bad, away from that head, you've got your just too tight. You see, it's, it's flared just a tiny bit, which is just tight enough where we're down good. Okay, now, we need that rubber seal. Okay, it, it just slips over. There's a notch in there where the nut holds in. It slips in, so everything is covered, okay? So we've got a nice seal, okay. Now it's always good to go ahead and make sure that this is clean here too. This is the top of the tank where the bowl's gonna go. That's disgusting. Okay. That just made me lose my appetite. But you want to make sure that the seals are gonna go clean to a clean surface, okay? Alright, that's just not right. Now we're just gonna set her down in place. So now you see, we see the clean bolts hanging through. So we're going to stick a washer on. The reason there's another washer is it just helps, I think, to put it in there. And then when you tighten it down, less chance of the ceramic cracking. Okay. So let's take a metal washer and a nut. Now that I've got them hand tight, let's go ahead and put either a wrench or a socket on them. Now do be careful how much you tighten this down. We are sitting, we are sitting on a brand new big rubber foam seal between the tank and the bowl. Okay, so you want to kind of pull one side down, then the other, then the other, and back and forth. Okay, try to keep it even. You see how the tank is wiggling like this? Okay, uh, we want to snug it up where it's it's fairly fairly snug. It doesn't want to shake around too much. I don't know, guys. I've got this ready to go here. It's pretty solid. It moves a little bit still, which is going to happen. Now some toilets they have like a little, I want to say, kind of support bracket or something that goes in between the two, so that when you when you bolt it down, it kind of is, is like really solid because there's, there's a support in there, and then the, the foam seal still has you know a little bit of room in there. Uh, but a lot of toilets really don't, so you don't want to crush it down to nothing and then and, and then just put that much pressure on the ceramic, okay? This is good and snug, um, and everything's tight. Alright, so that being said, other than snapping the flapper in place, which I've already put the link up for that video, we're going to move forward and do the installation of the new Corky uh, fill valve, alright? So guys, you'll, you can see that there. You can see uh, the link to that video. Uh, and please subscribe to the channel. It's over there. Uh, you'll see the, the little big circle. You can click on that because that helps out, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Well, <laughs> I hope you learned something from this video. I'm not sure this is really an enjoyable video. But I hope you learned something about it. And uh, this helps solve your problem at home. Awesome. Glad to be able to help. Guys, um, please also check out my website, greatwhitenagent.com. I've got a lot of videos. And I've got more than just do-it-yourself videos and product reviews and et cetera, et cetera. Um, and that's kind of a really good organized place for, for all my stuff. Uh, there'll be a clickable link in the description down below. Thanks again.